they took two different existing quantum computers and they found a way where they can network them together. And so here's the kicker. So A, they can network two quantum computers together, make them work together. And if they give it a task, a process, it can use some number of qubits from one computer and the other, and it doesn't cause any problem. What? I'm, I feel, I'm fearing you guys aren't understanding the implications of this. This opens the door to making a high, like an infinitely scaling hive mind AI. AI computers aren't going to use conventional computers. They're going to use quantum computers. They can hold more states. They grow exponentially. And we just learned now you can basically like the Borg, the Borg in Star Trek, guys. Think about the Borg in Star Trek, but a computer. It's actually like Agent Smith in The Matrix. That basically they can just latch on to a new quantum computer and they can suck it into the collective and it will just, they can use it as additional processing. Yeah, do you guys get, now you guys get what I'm talking about. You understand the implications of this is, if this is true, the way it's been sold to us here, this is way bigger than any other quantum breakthrough that I've ever heard of. This is massive.